every one of my friends, every single one of my friends knew how to play hockey. And they were incredible at it. Passing the puck through their legs, one flop tip taps, left-handed dick flips, all the tricks. They were incredible at the whole game, which made gym class for me even that more challenging because I didn't know anything. Literally nothing. In high school, I even felt so out of place just hanging out with my friends during lunch break. Dude, fucking Ovechkin trade is so fucking sick, dude. He's so much better than Kyle Kravitzky. Guy, are you fucking dumb? Ovechkin gets creamed, bro. Sickest one is Blake Lindsay. Yo, this guy's talking so much Blake's shit. Blake can't even pull a decent fucking hat bro, trick, bro. you're stupid. Dude, dude, yo, no way. better than McDuffie. Oh, honestly, you're joking, McDuffie. right? Top five is Corbis. 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 The reason I didn't know anything about hockey is because it's not a sport that I could generally afford to play. It wasn't something that was budgeted in my annual family's income. The only sports we were encouraged to play were the immigrant sports, which is a loose term for sports that involve the minimum amount of equipment possible, which leaves us with soccer and basketball. And even then, still preferably soccer because nobody's gonna spend three, four hundred dollars on a net. Soccer, however, you just need a ball, in a pair of shoes. Not to wear, but to set up as goalposts. And the balls that we got, extremely low quality, would always be ripping at the seams within the first hour of playing. Okay, we get it. Yeah, Indian parents, they were so cheap. They didn't buy good equipment. No, 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 no. This time, I'm blaming the manufacturer. Dear Zellers, what's good? I see you selling cheap ass balls. I only kicked that shit once, now I gotta get a new ball. What do I do? Wait another year till I could afford one? How would you feel breaking the heart of a child someone saw? I hope you read this letter before it's too late and shut down. Like Kmart and Byway, you don't see them stores around. There was another store, that shit was so big it closed too. It started with the Z, oh shit, wait, it was you. I don't know about you guys, but the only time I got to play sports was during the summer because God forbid anything interrupts school except for more school. And so our parents would enroll us into a soccer league, a community-based soccer league. Get to the soccer class. But the, do soccer here, na? Yeah, I always wanted to play soccer, but then you said it was too expensive. I don't want to play that one, I want to play that one. But that's only like a five dollar difference and it looks so much better. What the pine dollar they which can now shine the three drop by the dear salpania boom are the gunia a shirt echo shirt by yana her video to cook up a bag on a I'm so glad our mommy signed us up for this. Ha ha yay! Oh my god, holy shit, so many kids. They're leaving you guys here like I'm a fucking babysitter. We just want to play soccer. I don't give a shit what you want to play here. You, you guys don't come here go, I want to play soccer, I want to have a fun. You're coming here doing the hard work. But my mom said that you go there and play. Your mom said that? That's mom, nice. Mom. This look like a, this look like a fucking game to you? This look like a fucking game to you? This look like a fucking game to you? Yeah. It's a job! When Kobe Bryant is playing, you think he's having a fun? Oh, uh, he plays basketball. He plays Oh, uh, Okay. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna kick the ball. Like, just like that. Have fun. I mean, fuck! And of course, the coach that I had was extremely harsh and strict and very hands-on with the way he taught us. Hey, 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 hey! Hello! Put the foot, put the foot like this. First foot like this, second one like this. Stand like this. Stand like this. Stand here. Stand here. Uh, no, move! Then kick the ball. Like, kick! Hey, hello! What are you doing, man? 
Then all the way forward. That's it. Oh, kitty kara. And where did you throw? When the ball comes, you throw on the ball, the whole body. Ha, 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 ha. Understand? Yeah. Stand, stand, sit down, sit down. Stand like this. Stand. Look uh, that way. Where is he standing? Look. Look where he is standing. Mm -hmm. Where did you throw? Who's there? Nobody. Nobody there. Go. You are there. Go get the ball. This one, this one, this one, then this one, then this one, then this one. You're doing standing here. Tang, 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 ding, 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 ding. Like, do your mom, dad send you da dance class? Send you fing soccer class. Cup. Kick, 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 kick. Let's go. What was it? That's kick? That's kick to you? I'm pretty sure he just signed up to be a coach, assuming that all the kids already knew how to play soccer. And then he realized that they didn't and was like, oh, wait, no, hold on. I. I have to teach these kids how to play soccer? That wasn't a part of the job description. Oh, it is part of the job description? Wait, no, I just thought I was gonna show up and watch these kids win game after game and then take all the pride and glory associated with that. I actually have to teach them how to play? I have to have the patience to do that? Okay, one more time, go. And I mean, when it came to game day, we'd always get our asses handed to us by the white teams because, you know, they actually did this thing called investing in the children's extracurricular activities. Cleats, water bottles, a good coach, positive words, and encouragement. And whenever a white kid would lose a game, this is how the interaction went with their parents. Hey, good job out there, Squirt. Atta boy. <laughs> How are you feeling? I'm sorry for losing the game, Dad. Come on, now, son. It's not about winning or losing. It's about going out there and having fun. Dude, I'll make you fun of you for missing the last shot. Oh, you don't have to listen to that hosh posh. You're a champion, okay? Every day I look at your little tiny little face and I say, I made that. Uh. That came out of my body. Why don't you go ahead and gather up all your little friends and we'll go over to Pizza Hut then. Huh? Pizza Hut? Really? Every day's a celebration. Come on. Pizza Hut. Come on. <laughs> Meanwhile, in my car. Time waste. Passive waste. I don't think I'm going to party. I'm going to party. I'm going to party. बाकी लोग मुंडे नॉकर नहीं खेलना आंदा but when the parents were around other brown parents, it was a completely different story. They'd always be hyping their kid up. Oh, my son is so good, man. He's the number one top player. Five score, 10 assists, 25 trophy medals. Ronaldo, Ronaldo, Ronaldo. I don't know what to do. Shit. So confusing. But you know how I know that the other kids had it much better than we did. It all boiled down to what type of treats we got at the end of the game. Popsicles, ice cream, popsicles with ice cream in the middle. And last but not least, the infamous drumstick. Meanwhile, we got no name brand, um, tiny ass freezy packets. You know, the ones that would literally just shred the sides of your mouth when you would try to suck out that runoff popsicle factory juice that they accumulated in these tiny plastic razor tubes. And God forbid anybody was late to a practice, which was me about 90% of the time because it was almost impossible to get my dad out of the house. Dad, can you take me to soccer practice? Hello, I'm going to go to the house. Dad, can you take me to soccer practice now? Pella me to gutter saaf kar lende. The shit, yo. Dad, can we go now? Pella to me to stock straight kar lende. You don't do stocks. Oh, yeah, no, you're right. Chal, come on, come on, let's go. 
Why are you parking in Lamdi, man? Look how much time I'm wasting. Why you have so much grass here? Just make the parking. The grass is there, you know, for the soccer field. The thing that I have to go to that I'm late for. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I found a spot. I found a spot. Oh. But isn't that lady waiting for parking? But you can't do that. She's waiting. Excuse me. Shit. I was waiting for that spot. You go play the soccer. I, I will talk to the lady. Sir? Hello? Excuse me, sir. I was waiting for that spot. I, this is my spot. I had my blinkers Dog, on. Shut up, you liar. Bitch. Even if I was late, the coach was equally, if not more late. I just had to show up before he did. After you. No, I've been up. Uh, I've been here past 20. Oh, bitch, my god. I've been here past 25 minutes, 20 minutes. You literally just raced me over here. No. You threw your shoe at me, remember that? No. And then I hit my face, remember that? And then that's how I lost the race, remember? Yeah, you were late, yo. Huh? I was early. I'm always early. Don't listen to him. We all you guys are liars. Uh. And even if I was late, there was no easy punishment like running a lap or a couple of push-ups. No, it was those pre-British colonial rule desi type torture tactic techniques. Since you are late, that means you do a uh, do the the cooker. Do the what? Do the cooker. Yeah. The what? The what? The cooker, man. I don't, I don't know what that is. What do you mean I don't know what the cooker is? I never did it in my life. Oh my god, I have to show you everything what am I some sort of goddamn teacher? Yeah. Shut up! First you go down like this. Like this? Put your asshole out like that. Like go like that? Like a chicken, like cooker. That doesn't even look like a chicken. Go like this, go like this, like this, like this, like this, like this. Put like this, on oh, one hand like this. No, put the left hand on the left ear like this. Like that? Like, put like this, man. What are you doing? Like that? Like this. Oh, this is so stupid. Don't sit down like that. Put, stand up. How is it even legal? I don't get it. Stand up on your feet and do like this. Go like this? Come on. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> you do too. Everybody, everybody. Everybody doing the cooker like this. Come on. <laughs> And when we were competing in regular tournaments, it was like Gurdwara sports days. Where the community would get together and put on this little sports event for all the kids. So you'd have games, races, and soccer tournaments. Most of the kids were shit. The coaches weren't actually coaches. 
And so the rest of us would just run around in clumps as the parents watched us in full disinterest or embarrassment. Jappi, please, please play the game with your friends. and at the end of the tournament, every kid, every single kid, doesn't matter if you won or you lost, you all got the same thing. A participation trophy or a medal. To the uh, summer house, we're ready by oh, July. Oh, perfect. Oh, perfect. I'm going to go to the house. 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 i and there's a ton of these in every single house of every Punjabi kid. Fill the bookshelves, the cabinets, just stuck in cardboard boxes. There are so many trophies and medals at my house that I could easily be eligible for a TSN or ESPN documentary. And I wonder what that would look like. Huh. Let's look back at one of history's most renowned youth Punjabi soccer league phenoms and all his amazing achievements. Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Just Meet. Welcome to my crib. Uh, why don't you guys come inside? Let me show you some of my sports achievements. Let's get it. <laughs> Even though he's from a small town in Ontario, that didn't stop young Jasmine from achieving all that he did in his youth community soccer league career. Let me show you guys some of my achievements here. You know, we got the Ikonkar participation medal. This trophy, I wasn't even supposed to get because I, I didn't even play that day. I had a heat stroke. This is cool. No name, no team name. It just says Sangala office. I taught him everything. You know, I taught him how to kick the ball up, down, side, side. He only won all the medals and the trophy because of me. They're technically speaking, they're my trophies. A daddy or a guppy. This plaque is awarded for participation in the gold medal religious competitions. There was no actual gold medals. That's just the name of the competition. This is supposed to be a soccer trophy. I don't know why there's a rugby ball on here. It says Akwinder like Singh, which actually is not my name. I'm pretty sure one of the committee members just kind of stole this from their son's room and gave this because they probably ran out of trophies. So, Tari Dai Chavi Kente, I couldn't tell you that I was born in the TV. 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 Like I said, I've only played in Punjabi tournaments. So, I don't know how this one got here. Today, Ronaldo has come. Look, he has come. 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 He has when you really look back and you look at all your achievements, man, it's like, you know, just, it just makes you think like, why, why me, you know? Why, why did God choose me as the, as the MVP, most valuable participant? You know, it's just, it's crazy, man. I don't know if you have to take an interview, but I don't know if you have to take an interview. Look, there's a lot of work that I don't have to take a camera, but I don't have to take a document. I don't have to take anything, I don't have to take anything. I'm also going to take a shirt, and I'm going to take a shirt, and I'm going to take a shirt.
देखिया आहा मेरा मुंडा जप्पे व्हाट मैं आ गया पोत मैं आ गया वेट व्हाट नो आई शॉट दैट बॉल That guy didn't do anything. He just stand there like an idiot dancing. Just shut up, man. That, that was me. Why are you disappointed? I'm. You should be your proud son. Why are you walking away like that? How am I gonna get home? What the hell? What the sh what the shit is even going on? Daddy, daddy, daddy.